Set up. I'm tired. You're tired? Aren't you napping? Yeah, but... Oh, what, what is this? Are we gonna have one? Yeah. So, I mean, real talk, this is not no ad. As far as that helmet goes, you're already riding it with your scooter and everything. Like, compared to just like a regular full face or three-quarter helmet, what's your first thing you notice about it or that you actually like about it? Like, it sits on my head. Like, it feels like a hat. Yeah, because the padding that they have, which we show the inside liner. Again, shout out Beetle. Hit him up, Huntington Beach. Ask for Sam, ask for Momo so she doesn't feel left out because everyone's asking for Sam when they hit up Beetle, but Momo's like, hey, I'm here too. Hey, where are we going? Josh Mo's. And if your girlfriend wants a Beetle helmet, get her a Beetle helmet so she can be a Beetle girl too. Oh yeah, because that's gonna be a thing. I'm, become, I'm making it a thing. Yeah, hashtag? Beetle girl. That's right. Uh, so at Joe Schmo's, what did we have last time that like blew our minds? The Nashville hot chicken. Yeah, so we've been to Joe Schmo's a few times, even the early vlogs, like, I think, you know, in the 10s. And we only had hot dogs. We had hot dogs, we just went, you know, oh, but they serve beer, too. Uh -huh. That's another good pitch, but, oh, you are yawning. <sighs> I'm tired. Let's get out there, then. Get untired. Let's get out of here. Be good, girl. Here, they weren't too, they were squirting. I'm like, why would, you know, just, it just looked off. Yeah. Yeah. Closer. What's up, homie? How you doing, buddy? He's not as... I see you're a Beetle Girl, too. I am. Do you notice that shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the color a lot. So Beetle Girl is just a thing for anyone who owns a helmet? It doesn't matter what you identify as? Yeah. <laughs> what? A Beetle Girl? Beetle Girl. You want to be a Beetle Girl? <laughs> yeah. Uh, trying to be a Beetle Girl? You trying to be down with the clip? Or Beetle, Be Beetle oh. Juice? <laughs> Are you gonna keep your helmet on the whole time? Yeah. Yeah. You get a fashion seat. That was mild? No, the, that was her mild, and she what? said it was too hot. No, it, you got one up. Nah. Oh, hot? Oh, I got hot. Three days later. Okay, already, first off, the shirt's hard. Oh, so it's Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna, have to cut, I'm gonna have to cut the camera. Let me just say what's okay, up, bro. Let's see. All right, so straight up, we barely caught up on small things, but you said save it for the camera, cause- For the camera. Yeah, I mean, not on some weird stuff like, bro, I got something to say. But you do, I'm we sure. Have a lot to say, bro. Okay, so we're picking up where we left off. We probably haven't seen each other in, could you call it a year, almost? Yeah, maybe like over eight to 10 months for sure, just cause you know, life got busy. Yeah, because- um, um, There's a lot of like, I, I'm pretty sure like, you know, like losing like my friends. I don't know the story of that. We won't get into that too yeah. much. So yeah, I think that's just kind of what kind of like make me like, ah, oh, I'll just do my own thing. Just straight work, 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 you know? like Focus solely on tattooing. Tattooing and like just what I've learned too is like, I've learned to be, to love like my alone time a lot more. Solitude. So, my. <laughs> yeah, I've learned to just like, cause uh, Started going to therapy too, like the end of the or beginning of the year. Oh, so beginning of this year, you started therapy. I started therapy, bro. Like, and then was that suggested to you, or did you take that on your own? I mean, I have uh, I had homies, people um, that just recommended it. Uh -huh. But then, like last year, twenty twenty three, like it wasn't very it wasn't a very good year for me. Uh huh. And in in um what ways? You you don't have to get specific, but in what ways did you feel yeah, that? I wasn't... lost like many people. Like you know, I lost one of my best friends uh -huh. not to death but like yeah, know, yeah 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 
Flossa Girl that I love. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? And yeah, just like, and my mom has good insurance. I'm selling to her. Oh, okay. So I was like, let's try it out. If a lot of people like recommends it, therapy. And I'm always a person like, I'm gonna try shit out like at least once, you know? Yeah. Let me just cut this. Yeah. So you want to just give it a shot? Yeah, I gave it a shot. And I recommend like therapy to everyone. Like, really? Yeah, yeah, dude. It's something that like. Did you ever, before it was ever brought up to you, did you ever even consider or think about it? Dude, no. Like, I would be like, the f? Why, why am I gonna fucking go to someone random, like, and talk about my feelings? I'm a fucking guy. Yeah. And like, my first couple times, dude, like, uh, first three times I went there, my first time I was just, I just got out of that place. I was like, the fuck am I doing? I'm a man. Like I shouldn't be doing this. Like I oh hate, really? After I the first it. few times? The first, first session. Uh huh. But something in me like kept saying like, try it out. Second time was like, same thing. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? You know, like why am I fucking venting to this random person like, uh-huh. about what my life's going on? She doesn't even know. And then I was like, you know, I'm gonna go my third time, and if it's not uh, working out, like that. I it. trust your gut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And third time it's like something clicked, and I was like, you know what, like. Okay, last time, my fourth. And then my fourth time, bro, like, it was like fucking sparkles, fucking smiles. Like, she see the therapy seeing my suit, like, something clicked. And then wow. after that fourth time, bro, like, I look forward to, like, I go every Monday. And, oh, really? Weekly? Yeah, weekly. Okay, that's good. But, uh, yeah, dude, I look forward to, like, going to therapy now. You know, like, uh-huh. And without ever getting specific, in what areas do you feel like you might have benefited from, uh, just these first few months, generally. Dude, my mindset has changed a lot. I think that's what I've, like, caught a lot from uh, a therapist. Uh-huh. I used to, like, think that, like, therapy is just a place where you, like, just vent. And, like, she'll listen to you. And, I mean, it is that. But yeah. later on, as I kept going, it's just a therapist is a teacher. And the uh, subject is your f***ing, like, thoughts. Uh-huh. It's crazy. I should, like taught me a lot even like quitting drinking oh yeah so tell me about that what was it just like a light switch for you or how, how did that go and was it ever a problem i quit i quit drinking because i quit drinking because i don't have any women to drink call i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> no um i never really had a problem with drinking uh-huh but i never thought you did i, I never yeah, taught yeah, you I would, I would drink but then the, the shitty thing is like the next day oh. not the hangover part it's just like Mentally, I would just wake up like, dude, what the f- am I doing? You know, like, okay. just drained me like for the next day. Mm. So, and I went to London. And that was the tattoo, right? I got a tattoo over there. I didn't tattoo over there. Oh, you just I, went I, for your yeah, own I sake? I, I was posted by a shop, but no one really booked me, which I understand. I didn't promote it. Okay. And like, my father yeah. only have like 2K. Yeah. So I get it. But yeah, I just had fun. Um, it was like, it was a spontaneous ass trip too. Like, I had someone. Like, we became friends on Instagram, never met. Yeah. Never met. And then, like, we would just slide up on each other's stories, and we're like... And she's seen I, I seen her, I was going to London for a convention. I was like, dude, what the f*** are you going to London? Like, put me in your luggage, take me. Oh, so, like, you guys planned a trip together almost? No, it was just like, she was already going, because she's from London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She lives in Oakland. Um, so I was just like, take me, dude. And then she was like, dude, you know what? We need a f***ing helper for the convention. I was like, what? Like... Dude, I had, I had credit card points while my flight, bought my Airbnb, and then we met up over there, bro. We're like besties now. Like, that's good. Shout out to La Cochina. On La Cochina? Like that? That's she got that idea. handle? Yeah, that's Good it. for her, bro. And she's a London cat? She she lived in London, grew up there for a little bit from, uh, but she's in Oakland right now. She's a shop owner over there. Oh, so word. Good for her. Yeah, I love the Bay Area. Yeah, so tattooing really opened a lot of doors for oh, you, dude, right? Yeah, yeah. Tattooing has made me meet people or brought me places where I didn't think I'd be at, you know, like, in yeah. like, London, I, I didn't know nobody there, but I met, like, a lot of great tattooers, and that's, like, one of the things that kind of, like, hanging out over there, uh-huh. I hung out with, like, the people, like, the heavy hitter, you know, like, and the guys that I look up to, they were there, and what I seen over there, like, they weren't, they don't drink. Oh, they okay. Don't drink. Uh, so I was just, like, it just made me kind of think, like, damn, if these guys, I look up to them, they're doing good, you know, they're killing in tattoos, fatherhood, all that shit. Like, clearly there has to be something good with, 
like not drinking you know mm -hmm. so yeah i think that's one of the reasons like another reason why i stopped drinking i grew up uh with a saying like everything in moderation yeah like which like at first, I asked my mom, I was like, okay, whatever, like, I could have all the fun, but I get it now, as an, you know, too much of anything is a bad thing, I get that. Because I'm sure there's someone watching this is like, oh, drinking ain't all that bad, it's like, it isn't. I, we're not telling everybody it's, it's a way, devil. Yeah, it's, all, it's the way you think about things, you know? Yeah, or how you feel, because yes. if you don't feel that way, then don't, you know, what he's saying isn't for you, but I'm sure maybe there's someone out there who can relate. Yeah. So as far as that tattooing has mainly been what you've been up to, because you've had all sorts of opportunities with that. Like all sorts. Mm -hmm. Before I went to London, this guy, Jamie Jean Tattoos, uh -huh. um, he's a guy, another guy that I fangirled over, like <laughs> even like around like my early days of tattooing. Yeah. You know? I've worked like flash dates with him. And then one day he hit me up. He's like, dude, like you, you always have a spot in here with us. To me, it was like a no brainer. We're in OC. I, I, I live in OC and the, the place he works at in, uh, it's in LA. So it was a no-brainer that I was like, yes, I want to work with this guy. And not just because... Like, yeah, I mean... Too. But dude, the new studio, like, you got to pull up there one of these days. So, so you're you're working with them now? I'm in downtown LA now. Okay. I mean, you've been to the... Do you have any videos of the old studio? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so if you have, like, show it. Yeah. And I'll send you the, the new spot. Okay, okay. Yeah, dude, like, this whole year, focusing on, like, myself, bettering myself. Sorry, journaling. Journaling really helped, like, the way... You know, like writing down your thoughts and feelings. Like to put this in perspective, like they always say that quote, hindsight, or yeah, hindsight is twenty twenty. It's like only after the fact do things look clear from the past. Admittedly, at the time before, before therapy and like, you know, being able to like stop drinking and do all that stuff. Any point before that, were you ever in self-recognition that possibly you needed to seek any kind of change in your life? Or were you just kind of living day by day? Dude, yeah, like I, I was lost, bro. Like, like I said, like I lost one of my good friends mm -hmm. like i had no one to talk to you know like so it's just like mm. like you know like, and i'm like, sure you didn't want to just randomly hit my ear up and be like hey dude, let me talk yeah, to you yeah, like people, which i you know you know i would but yeah for sure but like as, as a man guy, yeah know, as, like, as a man just, like, you're it's not, not gonna... as easy as like oh yeah we're there for you like yeah i know i get it like i appreciate you i appreciate like people that are there for you yeah you, you can only like a person I don't like bothering people, you know? Like, I don't want to inconvenience them. Like. That I understand coming from where you're coming from, for sure. Yeah. It's just that maybe, I don't know if it's an age thing or just a kind of person, but like, Irvin and I, we're, I know people see us on the channel, you guys are always together and it just seems fun, but like, when that camera's off, we cover some heavy stuff, like very heavy. In close to what you're saying, like what you didn't want to bother me with, yeah, which, yeah, yeah. which I get that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm sure you always knew that I would be oh, able yeah, to talk to sure, you. Sure. But like you're saying, it's the machismo in you before therapy that was thinking like, why would I like bug this guy to tell him these things? Like, what does he got to do? Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people feel that way. I feel like a lot of people feel like that. Therapy is therapy, huh? Therapy's the key. Again, you said you've been suggested all these things, and then some, the the turning point was you know losing you know losing touch with a friend, and like they're not that person to you anymore. Yeah. So that was a point where like okay, like there went my person because I feel like whether it's guys or girls or best friends or partners or something, sometimes you can seek that therapy from a person. It might not even be your partner. Mm -hmm. It could literally be a really good friend or a coworker or something. But um, if you have that one and they're not in your life anymore that's definitely a good time to reach out and also like i used to like kind of look at us like like i don't have any friends you know but then therapy is what like made me reframe my thoughts that's good like you perspective either, right yeah your perspective is everything but you could either look at us like ah, i don't have any friends like oh i lost a friend you know or you just think like okay like there was a lesson you know like yes you look at it as like either a loss or like, oh, okay, like, I didn't need that person in my life, you know, mm -hmm. like, they showed their true colors. Yeah, but one of the things I was always taught was that like, your brain is designed to fire back answers. So, in school, you're taught that there's no such thing as bad questions, but it's true, there are bad questions are. because... Yeah, you're, it, you are your own biggest f***ing op. Yeah, know? yeah. You're your own biggest op, bro. Yeah, because think about it, if you, if you ask your brain, why do I feel upset, your brain's gonna be like, because this happened. And if you ask your brain, why do I feel so alone, your brain will answer back why you're alone. But if you ask yourself instead of why is this bad thing happening, if you ask your brain, how can I feel better about what happened? Your brain will fire back an answer. Yes. And, and another thing that I learned that really like helped me get through a lot of things, there's a big difference of be feeling alone and being lonely. Yes. I love being alone. I hate feeling lonely. 
That's something that I remember I had explained to someone before that before all this and like my life with her and everything, I always was lonesome, but I was never lonely. Mm -hmm. Lonesome is different from lonely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, like it's it's like a mind sh mindset. As far as tattooing is going, like what 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 are some highlights in the past? However long we haven't been kicking it with each other, like what what are some highlights London that went by? was like the beginning, and then after that, I told I told Jamie like yeah, bro, like, let's chop it up like when I get back from London. So this guy. He, he got tapped in for the Rolling Loud thing. He originally was gonna do that. Like, he did that last year in Miami. Uh -huh. But uh, realistically, the pay just wasn't like making sense with like where he's at. Like, it's not much. Yeah. But he passed it on to me. And I'm very grateful. That's to you good, now. bro. I love you so much, you know, like. Yeah, he was like, hey, bro, like this, this gig, you know? I was like, you wanna take it? I was like, yeah, you know? Like, yeah. Cause before you were just all solo out of your studio, solo, right? Solo, yeah. With, with Andres. Yeah. So is he carrying it by, by himself right now, or did, did no, someone no. come? Uh, me and Andres were supposed to move together, but he just found like better like opportunity that's more of his fit. Oh, okay. Like, so like, yeah, it's my bestie. That's uh, good that you guys have that, like, be able to like talk yeah, to each other. Yeah. Well, uh, his shop's still in Anaheim. I'm, I'm in LA now. With the Rolling Loud thing, I think from March 15 to 17, 14 to 17. Uh huh. Dude, like rock star status, like. I was like the only one and all of them were like coworkers. Yeah. But then we all became like best friends, bro. That is so cool. Yeah, we'd wake up like, yo, like we'd text a group chat, like get ready this time we're riding out. Like, yeah. There's the time where we'd go eat, you know, like we'd go, sh he took me shopping Damn, bro. Time, bro. Like before we like went to the venue, we'd pull up to the venue late as Everyone's lined up to get tatted. We're just there, you know, they're waiting on us like it felt good, bro It felt like holy shit. I'm like doing this dude And then from humble beginnings we might have covered this and like the tattoo talk a long time ago And I don't think a lot of people saw that video yeah. So if you want to do a light cover-up right now like because people are probably watching like oh Bernard the homie He's funny. He tattoos but like all the things that you're talking about right now sound far out even to me as your friend But like just to bring it back down again take us to back to the year time and place of when it all happened, like the perception of tattooing, because you worked at a liquor store, right? Gas station. Gas station. That was my last job, and then like COVID kind of happened, you know. So 2019, was, right? 2020. So at this point, you're still working at the gas station. No, like uh, left the gas station job, and then I was able to. I was collecting EDD. Uh huh. I have that shit tatted on me. That's right. I picked up a machine, like knew nothing, like you know, just and I what, was getting tattooed. What got you to want to pick up that machine? Dude, I was at a house party and like they had a box and like it was uh there was a tattoo machine in there and they were all like drunk you know like i met these guys no let him try he draws and there was this drunk guy his leg and did you like were you known to draw or did you just yeah like... i've always drawn you know i've always been like a little artistic i would like doodle them. right yeah, yeah yeah dude when i picked up that machine it was like 12 it was nighttime in a, someone's backyard uh-huh a little kickback when i picked up that machine like i knew nothing like on yeah. what needles what like what the machine was even doing yeah right? what, yeah, what, yeah. What, what like you gotta put so i just ran it i'll show you, yeah, let me show you the yeah i want to see that say you have the first night you freaking yeah. laid ink on somebody mm -hmm. or was it yourself or what did you put no, it on? on some guy and, and then, why did he want you bro if you because he already has a lot of those like home oh drunk stick and poke tats, and all that you know? oh okay, okay i was gonna say so bro. shout out that guy <laughs> that's shout, out, shout out josh Josh put you on, bro. Yeah, this was November 14, 2020. Look how dirty that is, dude. Outside. I'm about to tat him up. <laughs> that was the, see, like. Bro, get him right. I know. Is it me? Oh, they're gonna. Yeah. Hey, don't be afraid to man out of my leg. Like, see, look at that stencil, bro. Like, this is the begin, or this is. Doing his first. I got it. Wow, uh, bro. And what, again, that was... First time, and then I went home that night. Just, like, bought my cheap tattoo machine from, like, either eBay or Amazon. You yeah. Know? And as I was doing it that night, I was just like, damn, this is something I want to get better at. Because I think that's, like, everyone's kind of, like, everyone had a dream of being tattoo artist, you know? Like, yeah. Everyone's that. So I just tried it. You know, I grinded, bro, practiced on myself, practiced on homies. Mark was actually, like, my first, like... Mark was your freaking... First client. Your guinea pig, bro? He was everyone. So, like, <laughs> all the homies, like... Mark's such a great guy. One of the homies started bar started, uh, being a barber. He was the first one, too. Another friend, like, wanted to try a haircut. 
he was the first one, so like. And the tattoo. Yeah, yeah, Mark, Mark's cool, bro. Like, nah, yeah, Mark, Mark's sick. He's he stays pretty static. He's tight. Is that your water or mine? Uh, that one is mine. That's probably yours. Yeah, that's that's the homie. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people, including maybe even yourself, have noticed like no, not a lot of people are pulling up anymore. Not the same group as a lot of pulling up, and I don't feel any way towards anyone. I just understand. I get, like you know, we get busy, we get older. Like yeah, and uh, everyone makes their own decisions. Love's still there. Yeah, the love is there. Everyone got their own situations, and like just because they are all, including my girlfriend, they are all my first choice doesn't mean I'm theirs, and I accept that. And that's something that takes a lot because a lot of people like to villainize yeah. and that's the easiest thing to do. I'm sure along with like therapy and like you said, like having to know yourself better, then you realize those things. Recognize things that most people would just be like, oh, F that or he don't hit me up no more. What the hell's his problem? It's like, I don't, I don't look at it like that. I just know that if there is something weird and they don't want to confront it, then they're the problem, you know? But I'm right here. You know, like just talk it out. Yeah, so that's why like, I'm here, I'm clean. That's why some people, I don't want them to be like, where's Bernard been, y'all good? Hell yeah. Yeah, bro. I, yeah, I guess. I, like I told you, bro. It's it could be two years that I don't hear from you. There's nothing weird I feel, bro. Like I know you're doing your thing, and I'm happy for you. So if someone can't, if, 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 dude, if someone can't feel that back to you, whether they say it or not, yeah, they've got some maturing to do. And I'm not even talking about age because there are people much older than us that might not have reached this, you know, mentality. Yeah, even, like, the people that I lost, like I don't hate like nobody anymore. Of course. You know? like, Hate's a strong word. Hate is such a strong word. And plus, like, hating them, like, holding that grief, grudge, like, it's not gonna do you any good. Like, if anything, I wanna see everyone win. Like, yeah, that, that, like, that's how I am. Like, no matter wh how I stand with a person, I, I don't wish them any negativity. I just, for their own sake. The only, okay, th there's one thing I always throw. I guess this, this video's getting a little deep, but I'll go there. One thing for anyone, even if I don't like the person or I have an off standing with them or they're not in my life, mm -hmm. If there's any one thing I can wish to my friends, I wish for the the best things to happen. But for those that aren't in my life, I wish they find peace. Oh, dude, for sure. Like, that that's all that they, they need. People. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. should be a freaking sponsor, man. Who sponsors? Uh, you know what, bro? I would only. I'm glad I had my mom had insurance. I only pay like twenty dollar, twenty twenty bucks. Oh, people pay top dollar. Dude, yeah, like she was telling me if I didn't have insurance, I'd be paying like one sixty, like. That, you know? like, <laughs> I mean, some people got it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but know, I mean, like, but not you. Not sixty, like yeah, every yeah. week. That's what, like. And that piles up, bro. More than, it's almost like six, seven hundred, and like, I could buy shoes with that. I'd be fresh. As hell, like, <laughs> okay. As you know, like, <laughs> buy hella dogs, man. Like, see, like I could just buy clothes. I, I wouldn't buy like, <laughs> one sixty for an hour. Time. Hey, hey, hey but. Hey, but that, the thing is, though, it, it is really just what anyone values it at. Because say some some guy just shops at Old Navy and just doesn't have anything. He has money to the roof and he mm -hmm. just works. That might benefit him and he might just see that spending as something necessary. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean. I'm not paying no one. Uh, yeah, it's all good. Hey, some people would. You ain't. You ain't. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm not even calling this a vibe check and about your bike. This is just called catching up with you because we haven't seen each other in a long time and it's good we're catching up because, yes, yeah. yeah, there's there's a lot to cover. And, I mean, that, that was as much as we did with you because we're not gonna get all grimy of the details we still gotta eat and stuff you are gonna eat. yeah hawaiian bro you gotta look. hawaiian we can, we can yeah we can have some small talk over there but um if there's anyone watching this I, like I, this might not be the end of the video but anyone watching this at all that is in any position of like oh i don't know what i'm doing or maybe i'm just living day to day like what what would you tell somebody because i feel like you have some clarity since i last seen you to change the way you think about things even something negative like look at it as Oh, like it's a lesson rather than like dwelling on it, you know, like, mm -hmm. so yeah, that's how I like handle things now. You, I used to beat myself up like, oh, this shit broke. Like, okay, know? that's something I had to fix on myself yes. too. Yeah, I was very hard on myself like that. It takes some time, you know, but it's just like, oh, like, like on YouTube, you know, it's, it was plenty of room for negativity, right? And Anywhere. shout out the homie Joshua Boatwright. He's gonna be so excited to hear his name on this. Joshua Boatwright has left comments on the channel from the beginning, and they some seem snark. Like some would look like my home. Like you guys, the homies would see his comments as negative. But I already had a different perspective in the beginning. To whenever I'd see something he would say, I would just think to myself, why is he saying this? And then I stand back from a perspective of someone like he doesn't hate anybody. He probably doesn't dislike us. He's watching this. So what struck him to say that? So then that's where I end up thinking of a better response and I just answer back better. I don't try to dock him down or defend ourselves. It's just, I just answer accordingly and he bounces back normal and to where a lot of people would take that as like, what's his name? A uh, Joshua Boatwright. Joshua Boatwright. Yeah. He always be saying some stuff and like, um, I'm not exactly sure. He, uh, I don't want to like mess it up. I think he's for the East coast, but 
Um, yeah, he, he commented on something recently and it's all positive. Everything's been good. It's just the little snark things. Anyone who doesn't have that clarity or mindset would easily just be like, oh, well, why don't you blah, blah, or you either ignore whatever it is and know his intentions aren't to harm. Mm -hmm. He's just speaking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, not everybody has that to where I'm really glad that I admittedly, you didn't have that before going to therapy and talking. So that's good, bro. I mean, something I recommend to like yeah. everyone or even like, I'm not looking for like a relationship anytime soon, but mm -hmm. like, I think before I hop into a relationship, I want to be a hundred percent, you know, like that's something I always told people is that being in a relationship, it doesn't mean that two people at 50% come together and make a hundred. You're just two broken people and you're gonna make things worse. So if one person's at 90, the other's at 90, you guys can make it work. But if you're both at 50%, don't expect that other person to make you a hundred. Yeah, no. And that's- Plus, don't expect anyone, like don't depend on anyone yes. for your happiness, you know? Yes. Like, you are your own person. Yes, sir. So. Damn, that, I mean, that, that was solid. That was a wrap for this, for sure. <laughs> Tell me how you know about this place, bro. Because oh, yeah, it's right next to your other go-to spot, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what'd you order again? The spicy garlic. I think they just have to eat it, dog. Because like, there's no way they can judge off of that. It's just like wings. <laughs> I've always like told myself, or I tell people, if um, my last meal, I was electric chair, I did something really bad. Picking like chicken wings. <laughs> this is my last like electric chair wings, you know. And I hope whatever you did is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> whatever bad thing you did with the wings. <laughs> wow, I played myself. Yeah, I already had a fork. Hold on, hold on. I need to pause you doing that. I'll put influencers in the wild. God damn, look at my screen. Damn, it's footage. Oh, hold on. Nah, but um, yeah, so that day, right? So already, like, I'm playing a little victim. Like, yo, where's everyone? Where's everyone? But um, and it's because it's weird, like, no one's even responding at the time. Like, I can feel that tension, yeah. then I see that.